This hand was a great example of it, of you not feeling like you had to get the money in. Yeah, uh, on the flop I was probably happy to, just to protect my hand or make him fold out some hands like jacks, queens and kings, but uh, I was happy to get it in, but once I remember once I raised him and he called me, I figured I was pretty sure what type of hand he had, so I decided to go like a low variant style on the hand. Yeah, I had good reads on Yevgeny during this tournament. I uh, felt like I played well versus him, right. so I was happy to just be aggressive from the off. I mean, I remember some hands of this where he was really baffling players. He's one of those guys, I don't want to say he's under the radar, but he really is, you know, a really high-level thinking player, and that's why you can do some advanced stuff against yeah, him. Yeah, it's I nice guess. when you know, when you, you appreciate how good someone is because you can run these advanced bluffs on them and you know they're going to work it out. Well, how you assume they would work it out. He didn't really know me back then, and I kind of knew him, so it gave me a big advantage. Did you feel like this tournament was was really a springboard for you? I mean, maybe not financially, but as far as letting people know who you were, in a sense? Yeah, um, so I was playing well back then, but no one really knew how well I was playing. And when I finally played on TV, I played pretty good in the, throughout the heats, and it was nice to get a good performance in on TV. What else do you remember from this week? Just winning, <laughs> that's about <laughs> it, yeah. I was doing well in the cash games here as well. But, um, yeah, I remember this stand. I was happy to get it in on the flop, and then on the turn, I was kind of like, well, if he was floating me, I can just call. And uh, my ten's good, and he might check some rivers. And not. I just figured he had a hand like ace-jack or ace-queen, and uh, he was not going to fold the turn. This was my read, I remember, at the time. I see Ben Vincent in the back behind you there. He's, he's cheering. You got, a, you got a big rail there at that time. Yeah, they're all my close friends from, from years back, my good friends in poker. Ramsey had run in the background there as well. How sweet was that card? Do you know you have to? You, you managed to check it here. Yeah, because I thought if he had like ace-jack, ace-queen, he would definitely value bet that, that offsuit nine. It doesn't really hit me too much, so. Um, with ace-four here, I probably would have checked if I was him. Yeah, in, now in the com box, Locke and Sexton said they knew he was checking. But I think you knew he was betting because he had taken too, like he was he had taken too much at this point. Yeah, you had I, bluffed him a couple hands earlier. Yeah, he was been in some weird spots on the river where he didn't really know why I had and stuff, and he just couldn't stand to just check down top pair and just win. So he just he said to me afterwards it was more of a momentum thing. Yeah. All in. All in. <laughs> I remember him shaking his head and calling. <laughs> I was going to show, I think he says. <laughs> <laughs> It's almost like he's got instincts that's fold. He's gonna shove at first, so. Because it's similar to the bluff you made earlier. I guess I call. Yeah. Call. Two pair. Yeah. And that's the title. That was like the first thing I won. The that's first that. tournament I really won. Great. Thank you, Ali.